everybody Ann here and I just washed my hair it isn't even dry yet um, I'm still dealing with the bang situation but um, today I wanted to talk about something that had been weighing on my mind before it's one of the reasons why I got out of nursing and why I, I always feel so awkward in groups of women or groups groups in general and that is the issue of mean girls they're out there they're everywhere and you know what there's even some mean guys and they all share similar traits. Number one, they speak with an authoritative voice and um, they never they never do it in front of the their target. Okay? So um, example, group of people hanging out, having a good time, you know, a bunch of women talking to one another and there's one, there's one female there that, I don't know, maybe she's getting a little bit too much attention, maybe she just doesn't act or look or, you know, whatever the way that the rest of the group wants them to. Well, as soon as she walks out of the room, the number one mean girl, there's always a leader, and she's the one that gets the ball going, and, and this is the same with guys who are mean girls, <laughs> because it, it's possible. Um, but it's usually exhibited mostly in females. I think we can all agree on that. Well, anyhow, so we've got this, this one authoritative female who, as soon as this one female walks out, she will be the first one to say, well, since, since she walked out, since she stepped out, since she's no longer here, I'm just going to say this about her. And then she'll go on and relay something about that female who's not there to defend herself and then the rest of the group will just kind of clamor around because the, the, the authoritative voice, the authoritative, you know, queen bee mean girl is, you know, you don't want to cross her because she's the one that knows everybody. And she's the one that talks about everybody when they're not there to, you know, defend themselves. And she'll go right to the throat. She'll, she'll go right to the throat with whatever it is that could be most hurtful for that person. You know, as, as nurses, they will criticize, you know, someone's knowledge, their skills, their ability to do something. Um, or they don't like the way they do it because they do it in a different way. Um, or, you know, just whatever. If it's, a, if it's about a guy, they'll go right after the masculinity. Um, you know, and so the rest of the group doesn't check the person on that. Um, you know, and I've been in groups where, um, that's happened and uh, there's been many, many times where I've stood up and countered what that person said. And that's never a good idea to do to the head honcho mean girl because you will then become forever the target. You will be outgrouped. And so you will always be the source of amusement for the mean girl crowd. And um, so these days I just kind of, you know, luckily I don't work around a lot of nurses. <laughs> I don't work around any nurses. Um, I just kind of back away, you know. But is that right? You know, is that right to let that one person dig at somebody else um, who's not there to defend themselves, you know, and it's always something catty, something mean, something, you know, that goes right to, you know, maybe something they don't understand, um, but the rest of the group then joins in, and it, one insult compounds onto another insult, and it's just, I don't know, sometimes it's kind of heartbreaking for me, so I usually end up gravitating towards the targets of the mean girls because, you know, I see how unfair it is. And this is just the way that life is. This is the way that a lot of women are. And they can just be very cruel, not only to one another, but other people in their groups that are maybe not even women. And um, it's always, there's always a leader. And the rest are followers. They're kind of like the flying monkeys, you know. They know they have to agree um, because if they don't, they're going to become a target. So what you can do to not be a mean girl, number one, is if you ever feel the urge to say, well, since so-and-so isn't here anymore, I'm going to go ahead and say this. 
stop yourself right there because you're wrong. You should never wait till someone walks out of the room to diss them or to criticize them. You know, have the courage at least to say it to their face. Stop yourself. Don't say it. If you're getting ready to say, so-and-so just walked out of the room, so I, I just need to tell you this about them. Um, stop yourself. Don't do it. You're, what you're doing is wrong. It's wrong. It's unkind. And you're setting up a group dynamic that is unhealthy. And it's negative and it's destructive. What do you do if you are in a group and there's a mean girl or a mean guy um, targeting somebody that's not there? Well, you can do what I do, <laughs> and I don't suggest it. Um, you can call them on it and say, that was pretty shitty. If you do that, you will forever be a target. I'm just telling you, you will. Or you can just turn your back to them and walk away. Show them your back. That should be message enough. If enough people handled the conversations of Mean Girls, especially the authoritative, the Queen Bee one, um, if they handled their little, you know, cattiness by turning your backs and walking away, saying nothing, to show your disapproval by walking away and not joining in on it, don't join in on it then that may help, that may help put a stop to mean girls. They will have no one to talk to. They will have no one to diss. They will begin to understand that you can't just talk shit about people who are not there to defend themselves. And it's always like right for the throat. It's like they know what makes that person tick. And they, they say this thing in front of the group of people. And, um, you know, I've had it done to me several times, you know, and people have come back and told me, oh, so-and-so said this about you. And, you know, I'm 55 years old, and it took me this long to understand the dynamic of Mean Girls and what, they're, what they are lacking in themselves. Um, they are lacking in self-confidence. They have no other way to elevate themselves, or they think they have no other way to elevate themselves other than to bring other people down or to point out other people's faults while at the same time not cleaning up their own damn backyard. <laughs> you know, it, I've seen it so many times and I don't know. Women these days, it's, it's hard. It is just, it's hard to really be good friends with them because so many of them are mean. Mean to one another. Um, and I, I did want to make one thing clear. You know, there's a difference between a mean girl and a friend who is saying, giving you advice about someone. The mean girl will act like they're friends with the other person. You know, act like, you know, this person is part of the group and whatnot. And a true friend will not include this person that they don't like or they have something negative to say about in their lives at all. They'll have nothing to do with them because they have no no reason to have them in their lives you know they don't like them they they you know whatever has have whatever ever traits or whatever history that they don't want in their life so they kick them to the curb you know your friend will tell you the truth about someone whether they're standing there or whether they're like clear across the street um, but your friend won't then go and hang out with them and kiss their you-know-whats. Um, the mean girl will, you know, act like they're, uh, you know, the, the, this other female. Oops, what was that? Oh, something from a tree just fell on me. <laughs> um, the mean girl will act like this other person is their friend and, you know, but as soon as that person walks out of the room, you know, they never have the courage to say it to their face. They will wait till the person leaves. And so you got to know the difference. And you got to kind of temper your own behavior and your own words when you are in the midst of a mean girl. Because they will try and get you to say things. And if you do say something, they will, they, they may even use that and take it back to the person that they were initially talking shit about and um, cause a whole lot of drama. So don't be a mean girl. Don't allow mean girls or mean guys um, to, 
to continue their deeds. And, um, you know, it, it, we all just got to be good to each other, but we all also have to be genuine. And that is the most important thing. So these days I try and surround myself with people who are genuine. And, um, you know, I'm pretty lucky that I've been surrounding myself with some good people lately. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope that you take heed to my warnings <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.